Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today's theme is website hacks and breaches. Today we learned of two different websites that suffered from a defacement and or breach. First, according to a security firm, a Russian site called Topface has been breached. They learned this because they found a posting of 20 million user credentials on a well-known underground forum. Now these user credentials seem to include username and email, but there's no note about any sort of hashed password or credentials. On top of that, the Russian site Topface says that 90% of the users rely on single sign-on with Facebook, in which case they don't store any of the credentials locally. Nonetheless, if you're one of our Russian viewers that goes to Topface, you might think about changing your password. Next up, and more interestingly, is Malaysian Airlines had a defacement. Today, their site was changed to a 404 plane not found air. And two different groups, Cyber Caliphant and Lizard Squad, took uh, credit for this particular defacement. I'm not sure who's really responsible. Cyber Caliphant is a ISIS supporting a hacktivist group, whereas Lizard Squad is a kind of group that goes after game sites. In either case, Malaysian Airlines says that no data was stolen. However, the Lizard Squad posted that they do have some loot to share, and they tweeted a picture of someone's stolen flight itinerary. So we may learn more about this attack. It's hard to tell if it was just a defacement based on hijacking DNS, or if it was some sort of true web breach. So what should you remember here? As you're using different websites, make sure to use different passwords everywhere. If one website gets breached, you don't want all your credentials to be lost. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.